Freebies Research Group, Biomaterials, Biodegradables and Biomimetics of the University of Minho is a research unit coordinated by Professor Rui El Reis. It is a unit of excellence of the Portuguese scientific system, as results from evaluations by international panels of peer expert scientists belonging to an associated laboratory. The research group has long experience in the development of scaffolds from natural origin biodegradable polymers using a wide range of non-conventional processing methodologies. In fact, it is one of the groups in the world with the most publications in the field of scaffolds for tissue engineering and the development of the respective innovative processing groups. Additionally, Royal Reyes and his group were the pioneers proposing starch-based materials and other natural origin systems for applications related to bone orthopedics, such as tissue engineering scaffolds, bone replacement, bone cements, and carriers for the controlled release of a range of bioactive molecules. Several relevant activities are also carried out in the areas of novel biodegradable polymers, biomimetics, and tissue engineering of cartilage, skin, and neurotissues. The Expert Tissues Network of Excellence, NOE, which officially started in October 2004, brings together Europe's leading academic centers and several complementary industrial players in a multidisciplinary consortium in order to conduct and structure research that can compete in the international arena, namely with USA and Japan. This institute was created as a European Economic Interest Grouping in 2009. Its full members, collaborators and associated members include 22 partners from 13 different countries. The headquarters of the European Institute of Excellence for Tissue Engineering and Regenerative Medicine are based in the new facilities of 3B's research group of the University of Mingo. The new building of the 3B's UM, which is the major research hub and the headquarters for the activities of the European Institute, covering 3,600 square meters, is located in Av Park, a science and technology park in Caldas das Taipas, a small town between Braga and Guimarães in northern Portugal. It is a unique integrated facility, containing all the labs needed for cutting-edge tissue engineering and regenerative medicine research, where a rather multidisciplinary approach is required. It possesses all the essential facilities for the materials, biology and animal experiments that are necessary. The facilities allow research on the development of new biomaterials, their processing, modification, characterization and others, whenever needed in clean conditions. It also has unique conditions for the isolation, expansion and differentiation of stem cells from various sources, including the use of specific bioreactors as well as all molecular and cellular characterization. Finally, it also allows the possibility of carrying out in vivo tests on small animals, rat, mice and rabbits ensuring unique conditions for the development of multidisciplinary research, which is critical to the success in this research area. Currently, the research unit is composed of around 125 researchers, including permanent staff, namely faculty and assistant researchers, postdocs, PhD students and various research students and technicians, administrative staff and project managers, from approximately 20 different countries. The researchers come from a variety of different backgrounds, including material science engineering, polymer engineering, chemical engineering, chemistry, biological engineering, textile engineering, biochemistry, biology, applied biology, veterinary science, medicine and dentistry, among several others. This is one of the only buildings that I know in Europe and uh, even in the world that we can do research that goes from the um, synthesis of new materials, processing of those materials in small quantities by a whole range of different techniques, so standard processing techniques like injection molding, like extrusion, but also rapid prototyping, all ways of making scaffolds. Uh, we have equipment then uh, and activity on changing the surface of those materials in order that we can tailor the cell adhesion, proliferation, differentiation and then a lot of um, possibilities in the biological research because we have very good facilities for isolation uh, and culturing of different sources of stem cells. We work with stem cells that come from uh, bone marrow, adipose derived stem cells, umbilical cord, amniotic fluid, amniotic membrane, so there's a lot of different uh, 
stem cells being culture in this and we have been working a lot also on the differentiation of those stem cells to different tissues. We can culture those stem cells in different bioreactors that we have designed and we have uh, intellectual property on that. And in the lower part of the building we can do animal testings with small animals. So we can really test if our approaches with the stem cells and the materials uh, can work and we can do that in rat, in mice, in uh, rabbits and in other facility outside of this building we can even go to large animals like goats and sheep. And that integrated, very multidisciplinary kind of research, I think, is unique in the world and put us in a very competitive uh, position in the international arena in this very demanding and very interdisciplinary kind of, uh, of research. The Processing Lab is a shared resource devoted to the execution of experiments that require the equipment present in the lab itself and serving as a support infrastructure to the supercritical room. This is a processing room uh, where we have uh, mainly three equipments. One is a, a extruder, a twin screw extruder. Uh, it's a corrotating extruder that we use mainly uh, for two reasons. One is for compounding uh, polymer blends or polymer composites and the other is for processing scaffolds uh, with uh, blowing agents. Um, we use uh, this equipment also to prepare cork-based composites or 100% natural cork-based composites. Our group was the first group in the world processing uh, kytosan by melt-based processing technologies. Uh, this is a supercritical fluid uh, room. In this room we have two different uh, apparatus. One is mainly for supercritical fluid extraction. What we do here is related with the cork industry, mainly the removal of um, compounds uh, uh, that are not desirable in the cork. Um, and also the impregnation of um, dyes or pigments in uh, uh, these matrices. In the 3B's UM facilities there are four general materials characterization labs with a wide range of equipment. So when we are dealing with uh, biomaterials development, a very important point is surface characteristics and surface modification. Because when uh, biomaterial is, is in contact uh, with uh, tissue and cells, uh, a, a key point is interaction that the cells uh, uh, will made with, with, uh, with the materials that will be made at the surface levels. So at, uh, in this, in this uh, group we have uh, a lot of research in this field and uh, not only in surface modification and surface processing but also in surface modification. And sometimes this modification just need to be done in a very thin layers at the nano level and so we can do uh, really very thin modification in, in different kinds of biomaterials and for that we need to have special tools to uh, characterize this kind of uh, uh, surface modification. For example, in this equipment, the quartz crystal microbalance, we can follow in real time what happens to a, um, a surface when something is deposited onto, onto the surface or where, when something is being released from the surface at the levels of nanograms. And in, with the ellipsometer, which is another equipment that enables to measure very small film thickness. So if we do some modification in the surface, we can really measure the, the, the change in thickness at the nano level.